Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, and I wanted to talk about Savage Streets. This just got a, I think, third release from Code Red. I'm pretty sure Code Red, if I remember correctly, did the other two. Or maybe the second one was Code Red with Dark Force. I don't remember. I know they have a working relationship. But Savage Streets is one of my favorite Linda Blair movies behind The Exorcist. It is a 80s movie. And it feels very 80s. Uh, by the way, I think this has some extra special features, this new release. It feels very 80s. It says it was a 1984 movie. And Linda Blair is in this group of friends. And they're all kind of loud and obnoxious. They're not wearing bras. Their like, nipples are hanging out most of the movie. And... You know, they, they're in high school, which is funny because every character in the movie looks at least like 30. And they're smoking and going around drinking and hanging out. And Linda Blair's younger sister is played by Linnea Quigley. Usually Linnea Quigley plays kind of trashy, half-naked roles. She is a mute. And she's deaf and cannot speak. But I found it odd because I don't know enough about this, but she can't yell or scream or do anything. She's literally mute. So I, I don't know how come she can't do anything, but I, I digress. That's, I guess, neither here nor there. So she's very protective of her younger sister. She, at the very beginning of the movie, they get into an argument on the street with these guys. One of them is from school, but one of them, the rest of them are in like this gang. I think they're called the Scars. And they end up stealing the guy's car and they throw garbage in it and park it somewhere. So the guys want to get back at them. And that's pretty much what this movie is. It's a huge revenge movie set in the 80s, very 80s feeling, as I had said, where this gang of guys are abusing the women in the group that Linda Blair is in, her gang, so to speak. And then they're retaliating. I don't know if I want to say too much and ruin any plot points, but it gets pretty violent and a little graphic. There's a good deal of nudity in the film. There's a scene where all these women are just naked showering and you could pretty much see everything. And then there's like a fight in the shower and they're, you know, tussling around naked, kind of like Viggo Mortensen in um, Eastern Promises, but women, luckily. And, um, you know, there's a lot of like pieces of the, the movie that are kind of humorous in a way to me because Everyone's always like cursing at each other and nasty and yelling and there's some like kindness to the film as well. But for the most part, the characters are very kind of boisterous and rude and they tell each other to fuck off. And, you know, they say things to their teachers that you would never say to your teacher, at least I think in high school. So there are a lot of weird like interactions that come off very brash and almost funny in a way because they just so back and forth throughout the film. Um, as I said, a lot of nudity, pretty graphic, pretty violent, not a ton of blood really. There is some things with people getting stabbed or shot with certain things and there is some blood to it. But it's a great kind of 80s encapsulated feeling movie with kind of everything you would ask for in a revenge type film. There's sleaze, there's a little gore, there's interesting characters. The main, one of the main bad guys, his name is escaping me in the movie right now, uh, Jake. It says he's from Robert Dreyer and the Sisterhood. My wife says no, but he reminded me a very, very little, little, little bit of Swan from the Warriors. I think it was just like the weird kind of feathered, like shoulder length haircut, and like the long face. But he's he plays like a nut job and he comes off. You know, they come off pretty good in terms of playing the roles. They're like screaming and acting out and everyone's just kind of off the wall. And I think that besides the movie just being good, it makes that even better because it has this spontaneity of wackiness kind of. Um, as I said, Linnea Quigley's in it. I'm trying to think what else I wanted to mention. Some of the special features are an HD master oh, with additional color correction done in 2019. So I guess it does have some some touch-ups that were done more recently than the old, old Blu-ray. Uh, isolated music track, 5.1 mix created from the original three-track mag, 
three audio commentaries, vintage inter <clears throat> excuse me, vintage interviews with Linda Blair, Linnea Quigley, John Strong, Johnny Venacore, and Robert Dreyer. I thought Robert Dreyer was the name of the movie. That's weird. Oh, Robert, I'm stupid. The guy's name is Jake in the movie. Robert Dreyer is his real name. Excuse me. Uh, watch this in Cat Scratch Cinema format with our hostess Katrina Lee Waters or play feature only. I guess that's some kind of thing where they have like a hostess kind of, you know, present the movie like Joe Bob Briggs or something. Original trailer and reversible artwork. So this is the new artwork. I thought it was pretty cool. It looks a lot like Linda Blair, obviously. I think it, you know, sums up the movie pretty well. It's a revenge movie and she's standing there with a uh, little harpoon gun. And then the other artwork, which I'm pretty sure is the old artwork, has also what looks like Linda Blair, but not as much. If you look at the face, it's a little more squished. But everyone has these great 80s poofy hairdos and loud mouths. So if any of that sounded good to you and you like sleazy, trashy 80s movies, I would definitely, definitely recommend Savage Streets. I would give this maybe a... Between an 8 and a 9, maybe a 9 even, out of 10, I think it's a really good 80s timepiece with some good violence and uh, sleaze. So let me know, guys, if you've seen Savage Streets. In terms of a grown-up Linda Blair, this is my favorite film with her grown-up. Hell Knight was pretty good, but this really trumps that. So let me know, guys, if you've seen it, or if you do watch it, what you think. Thanks, guys, for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.